Hi everyone, I am Kanika Kucheria. On behalf of Tech Canvas, we'll talk on the topic, how much Java is required for Selenium automation. Now, as a beginner for automation tester, we have a lot of apprehensions, fears, and doubts in our mind. Like, how much Java should I know? Or how much time I need to spend in learning Java? So first of all, let me tell you one thing, that Java is not a rocket science. And so, learning Java is really not a big deal. And secondly, our aim is not to become a Java geek or a Java expert, but rather become an efficient automation tester. So, if we just learn the basics of Java, that will be sufficient for the Selenium automation. Now, Java, just like any other programming language, has a basic structure and syntax. Now, one important point here is that learning Java and Selenium can go hand in hand. So, if we learn the first Java program, we can also, in parallel, learn the first Selenium program. So, this will give us a lot of confidence to start and later this will also save our time and we need not wait that now I have completed my Java, now only I can start learning Selenium automation. Now before starting, we should know some basic concepts of Java like variables, conditional operators, classes and objects, arrays, lists, list, etc. Now to start is, uh, let's start with variables. Now, variables are used to store data temporarily. So, for example, if we want to uh, compare the title of a web page with some known value, say XYZ, so we should store that XYZ value somewhere, and that is why we will make use of variables. Now, as a second step, we want to compare that XYZ value with the actual value that is coming on the web page title. So here comes the use of if and else conditions. So in if condition, we will check that the exact actual value of the title matches with XYZ. If yes, then the condition is passed or else the condition has failed. Classes and objects are also very important. As classes are the basic container of the program, so all of our logic lies within a class. And if we want to make a use or reference of that class, we make use of objects. So it's good to learn the concept of classes and objects. Now next comes array and list. They come into picture when we have multiple data values. Say for example, we have 10 web elements which need to be stored. So here we will make use of array or list, etc. So these are very initial concepts of collection. Now next comes the concept of loop. So it's good to know one of the loop style. So for example, a while loop or for loop, any one loop should be sufficient. Now loop will come into picture when we have iterations in the logic. So for example, we want to have a login flow which need to be used five times. So instead of writing the same program five times, we will call it in a loop which will run for five times. The next is the exception handling which will is basically used to handle the error scenarios gracefully. But wait, we need not panic here by knowing so much of jargons at one go. We need to learn them one by one. And here we have, we have a great help called IDP. So I'll tell you this in this slide. Eclipse is a very powerful ID tool. It helps us in doing the Java programming. We need not learn each and every syntax of Java by heart. Eclipse will help us by suggesting the syntax of a particular Java statement. It gives us tips and also shows up errors, 
warnings whenever they come while doing the programming. Let's see a demo to see the same that how Eclipse works. This is an Eclipse uh, interface or the tool that I was talking about. Now we'll create a first demo class. So I'll create right click new class and I'll give any name. Say for example, demo class. And we have selected a dummy function which need to be included in the class. And we say finish. So Eclipse has created this demo class on its own. We need not learn the syntax of that, that how to write the class. If we just give the configuration and that the first class has been created. And since we have included this function, so this main function has also been created for us. Now, in this program, we want to print a string called hello world on the console. So let's see how we can do it. I'll write S Y S O U T that is sys out and do control space. So automatically with the help of shortcuts, the Eclipse will generate the whole syntax of print statement. And then within the strings, I can write whatever I want to print on the string. Hello world. Now my program is complete. I'll do save and then execute the program. So this was pretty simple. Like for a starter, how that first class need to be created. It was very simple using the Eclipse. Let's go back to our slide. Now we learn how to write the first Selenium program using Java. This will be as simple as we saw writing the first Java program. Here, the first prerequisite would be adding certain Java libraries into our class. So once we do, are done with that, we can proceed with, with writing the Java program. Let's see the demo for the same. Now here, I've written a program in Eclipse. So this is a class we have created the way we created for a Java program of Hello World. In the main function, we have first printed Hello World, the same. Now we are enhancing this program. These are the three steps that are written, which are specific to Selenium. So if we try to understand this, so system is a class. And if we write dot and control space, it will give us all the functions which are present in this class. And we can use whatever function we want. So we have used set property, which has two parameters, and we have passed it in it. Now next is the web driver class that we have used. So this object has been created for this web driver class. And for this web driver class, it has various methods. So again, if we do control space, we will get the different methods. And here we have used the get function in which we have passed the URL which we want to open. And then driver.close to close the browser. Let's execute this program and see what happens. Hello world is printed on console. And now it will open the browser. Now window is open in Chrome browser since we have used the Chrome driver. And then it has been closed automatically. So now we could see that writing this program was pretty easy. We don't have to learn the syntax by heart. We just, if we have the brief idea of the method and then Eclipse will give us all the help of how to write the syntax. So this was very simple. Now let's go back to our slide. The question comes in the mind is that why Java has been chosen for Selenium automation? Now there are different languages available which are supported by Selenium like Python, C hash, Java and many more. But Java is one of the language which has been widely accepted across enterprises 
and it is used widely. And also, there's a lot of help available on the internet, which we can make use of in our Selenium automation. So it would be always a good idea if we use Java for Selenium automation. Now I hope that your queries have been answered and the fear of learning Java has gone. So keep tuned for more videos on Tech Canvas. Thank you.